the future USS Little Rock, LCS-9, successfully concluded its acceptance trial on August 25 after completing a series of graded in-port and underway demonstrations on the Great Lakes for the Navy's Board of Inspection and Survey. The acceptance trial is the last significant milestone before delivery of the ship to the Navy, which is planned for this fall. During the trial, the Navy conducted comprehensive tests of the littoral combat ship, LCS, intended to demonstrate the performance of the propulsion plant, ship handling and auxiliary systems. While underway, the ship successfully completed a full power run along with all associated steering and maneuvering events, quick reversals and quick ahead, to demonstrate the ship's maneuverability. The ship also conducted the anchor demonstration and successful surface and air self-defense detect to engage exercises. Of particular note was completion of a full power demonstration utilizing 100% of available propulsion power. This mode of operation was previously restricted due to a design issue which is now resolved, said LCS program manager Captain Michael Taylor. Little Rock's performance during her acceptance trial is a testament to the hard work of the Marinette workforce. I look forward to placing the ship in the capable hands of her crew early this fall. The LCS class consists of two variants, the Freedom variant and the Independence variant, designed and built by two industry teams. The Freedom variant team is led by Lockheed Martin. The Independence variant team is led by Austal USA. Each LCS will be outfitted with a mission package made up of mission modules containing warfighting systems and support equipment. A dedicated ship crew will combine with aviation assets to deploy manned and unmanned vehicles and sensors in support of mine countermeasures, anti-submarine warfare or surface warfare missions. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share it with your friends.